All right, I've got a confession to make. Every time I walk through a marina, I check out the boats and I wonder what do they look like inside? Because it's kind of like a tiny house thing. How is the inside of the boat arranged that people can live comfortably inside them? I love going to boat shows because then you can walk through the boats and kind of get a feel for what they look like inside. So if you're like me, you're wondering where does Jim, I, and three big dogs live? So I'm going to show you. Welcome to Lab Mariner. Boarding at the aft steps, the first thing you'll see is our dinghy on its davit system. Above that is a four solar panel array that provides our power when away from an electrical hookup. Moving into the aft cockpit area, we'll climb up the stairs into the helm station. All our running rigging is easily controlled at the helm station. You'll also see that we have a clear view of the front and sides of the boat and a comfy seating area. We move back down into the cockpit area. There is a large seating area with room for me, Jim, and our three dogs. Also, there is storage under most of the seats. For example, here, you'll see we're storing our propane tanks. Under this seat, we're storing lines and our spare gas tank. Under the large seat is where the lithium batteries, spare life jackets, and our emergency equipment is kept. The forward cockpit area is reached either by going along the sides of the boat or through the salon and out the front door. Steps take us down to the forward cockpit area. The forward cockpit is partially covered to block out some of the sun and provides a quiet space when at port or the best seat on the boat when underway. All seats in the forward cockpit have storage underneath and the table can be lowered as needed. The front door to the left leads to the salon or you can climb the stairs to the trampoline area and storage areas for our water tanks and generator. We are currently using the trampoline area as the dog relief area. Headed into the salon area, it's your instrument panel as well as our freezer and refrigerator unit. Headed into the kitchen area. So you can see there's a fair amount of countertop space. And a sink, as well as an area for drying dishes. We have a range and a separate oven. And lots of storage. Storage under the oven, as well as a cabinet drawer. And additional drawers for utensils, as well as dishware. And we have a, a pull-out area for the garbage, as well as additional room for kitchen cook items. And one of the things I particularly like is all the underground storage areas. As you can see, the floorboards open up and it gives us room to store all, all of our canned goods, dry goods, and there are actually three of these areas underneath the floorboards. And in addition, we also have storage underneath all of these seating areas. As you can see here, I've stored all my baking goods as well as some additional pots and pans. So that gives us a lot of extra storage area. And additional storage here for food goods, as well as a desk and additional storage areas. And a pretty nice area for seating and this area under here is where we put a lot of the dog beds. They like to hang out here during the day. This is what we like to call the dog house. 
since dogs like to sleep under here because when we have the leaves for the table out, it gives them a lot of extra space and it also makes it a little dark so it's pretty comfortable for them to sleep there. So that's our salon area. As you can see, we have a lot of windows. So it's really quite a pleasant area with a lot of good light. We are headed down into the starboard hall, which is the master suite. And as you can see, there is a ton of storage here with pull-out drawers as well as a closet, several other pull-out drawers, another closet. We also have storage below and storage under the bed. And as you can see, the master bedroom is a queen size, which is big enough for me and Jim quite comfortably. However, it is not big enough for us and the dogs. So therefore the dogs have their own separate bedroom. Head it down through the hall. Is the master bathroom decent sized sink and this is the shower area I can be here with the door closed quite comfortably so as you can see it's a pretty nice space and one thing that I really like about this bathroom is that it has its own washer and dryer which is going to be really handy when we are uh, anchoring storage space below and headed up into the salon area and headed down into the port hall this is where we have two guest bedrooms which each have their own bathroom and on this side we have the dog room as you can see the dogs are pretty happy in their queen size bed they have ample light and a pretty cozy space. And we also have a bathroom here with a shower and sink, the vanity area. Headed forward is another guest bathroom. And as you can see, we're using this for storage of cushions. And the final forward bedroom. We've converted this into a utility room and we're using it for storage as well as to store tools. You can see it's got a lot of space. There's a number of drawers under the bed and as well as storage under the floorboards. And headed back down. Hi guys. I'll head back up to the salon. We've been on the boat for about three months now, and so I thought I'd ask Stephanie, what does she really like about the boat? One thing I really like is that it's open, a lot of window space, it gets nice and bright, we can see really well in the salon area, big wide forward as well as aft cockpit areas, so it's nice you can see throughout the boat from the front or from the back. Well, I mean, building on what you were saying, uh, it's really the only boat out there uh, on the catamaran class that you can have a front cockpit, and we use that a great deal. Um, the dogs use it a great deal. <laughs> the fact that you can get to the um, trampoline area and the dogs go up there and we have them trained, that's all fantastic. If we didn't have that front door... Yeah, that front door is really nice. <laughs> it would be a completely different experience. And then building on your other comment about the salon, um, one of the things I noticed, uh, slight differences amongst all the different designers out there, is that the Leopard seems to expand their salon uh, to the point that it even takes some of the space out of the berth areas. And for us, our waking day, when we're on the boat and in the boat, is usually either in the salon or the forward or aft cockpits. And so having as much space and as much window space as we have up, up in that, those areas have paid off immensely. Good 
<laughs> One thing that I really like, and I think the dogs also like, is I feel like it's pretty dog friendly. The yes. transoms are pretty wide, so the back step is pretty easy for them to get in on and off of, whether it's a fixed pier, a floating pier, or whether we're coming up on the dinghy. It's, a, it's a really a lot of space for them to get on and off. Mm -hmm. And it's also true in the hall area that there's a lot of, um, the steps are pretty wide, so they, they can get down from the halls and up into the salon area pretty easily as well. So that, that's something that having three dogs is really nice. All right. And Stephanie's done a really good job uh, using uh, a lot of the spaces that the dogs naturally gravitate to, um, sleeping at the foot of the bed, uh, liking to sleep under the uh, salon table, sitting underneath the chart table, yeah. putting pads there and integrating that into the actual floor plan that we have. Instead of having carpet, we just have narrow little pads and the dogs just naturally like to gravitate to those areas. And so, yes, when you first look at, at what we're dealing with, you would think that it's absolutely crazy and sure, it's crazy, but we enjoy our dogs and we're able to live here quite comfortably and uh, get them out and have them trained and, um, you know, we are now looking like we can basically sail anywhere we want, short sails, two or three day sails uh, at most, but we can probably uh, um, get around pretty easily. Mm -hmm.